Welcome to Behind the News. Today we are going to talk about the election campaign, PPC party and their candidates, what their thinking is and how election campaign is going on because we are having our election days closer and closer to us. So we are having new debates, we are having new problems and new discussions. Today our topic is how the election campaigns are being conducted and what is the response of the people towards it. I have with me in the studio Baljeet Bhava and Roger Sampson. They are both PPC party candidates. Let us talk to them. What is your take on after the convention which was held in Ottawa and officially PPC party election campaign was on? Yeah, so uh, the PPC party had their first uh, annual convention where all the candidates and the EDA uh, members they were uh, uh, present. It was the first convention the, f the energy over there in the hall, there were over like 500 people that came all across from co coast to coast to coast. Uh, the reason of this uh, convention and the energy on that particular day was such that you could feel the whole Canada is speaking, a uh, speaking same language, the language what People's Party is talking about. The party that means everybody placed by the same rules and the same standards. That's what People's Party is talking. So uh, overall, uh, the experience was amazing. Uh, as I said, when we came back, when we went over there, it was the first time to see everyone. But when we met all the candidates from one side to the other, the experience uh, was very knowledgeable. We gained so much of uh, uh, acceptance, not only from because they were everyone. They were from all different backgrounds. They were from different religions. They were from different colors. And as people normally see is or the media is projecting that PPC is a one-sided party and they are, they are giving wrong uh, projections, that's not the case. PPC is a very diverse. Uh, it has got all the cultures, all the multicultures, all the people from different backgrounds, from different countries. They have all migrated over here. There were at least 50% of the uh, candidates are migrants. So it's uh, it's a party as as good as any other party, or I would say it's a better party because the people those who were there, they have come up with lots of experience with bad and good. I I'm, I, I won't uh, uh, label that over here, but uh, very rich experience with Canada and Canadian politics. I am from liberal. I am I, carrying a lot of liberal experience with me. I met conservatives. I met people from the NDP. Uh, I met people even from the Green. They have moved uh, away from those parties because they are not, the other parties are not able to deliver anything. So the knowledge and the experience that we gained over there during that particular time was amazing. Uh, I am sure Roger has got some views on this one. So I will uh, hand over to Roger. Thanks, Baljeet. Thanks. You left you know, a few things for me. I appreciate it. But this is Roger Sampson, your candidate, Brampton West with People's Party of Canada. So c coming back after the convention, honestly, it was my first convention and I really enjoyed it. The beauty about PPC is uniting under one roof, everyone for Canada. For the first time, I thought, you know, there's sense of belonging. There's no culture, race, political difference whatsoever. It's everybody united under one roof for Canada and well-being of Canada. And that was that's the beauty of it. And honestly, I, I have people telling me with, from other parties and saying, your party is actually, all the candidates are working together for betterment, right? So, and nobody's uh, crossing each other. And this, this is the beauty of it. And I came back very energized. I've been knocking doors prior to that, went there, great learning experience. And coming back, I am just so excited and I'm actually more motivated to go hit more doors and just inform people and the reason is I enjoyed being in the party right it's like we don't see anything else except let's put Canada first work for betterment of Canada and that's the bottom line so that is the beauty of this country yes. that it is giving everybody a chance yes. to come forward and contribute in the society so yes. let's talk about People's Party Canada national campaign kickoff in Quebec so, Baljeet, you joined them there. It was probably yesterday. So, how would you like to shed light upon that? Oh, wow, that is the moment of excitement. It was a huge honor for me. Again, as everyone said, PPC party doesn't have immigrants or not others. I was the one and PPC picked me up as the speaker. I did my speech in English. Uh, I introduced myself what my thoughts are, what my background is, how I left 
or how liberals, they left me, or I don't call them a liberal party anymore, it's called illiberal party, and that was the label uh, I got it. Uh, and uh, the, the energy there, uh, the, uh, the party's platform, how it is accepting anyone and everyone who comes, who wants to work for Canada, who, wa who really cares for Canada or Canadian values or what we call the Western culture, the culture where freedom of speech, uh, fairness, respect, responsibility, these are the key factors that, that was the main motive of this particular uh, convention or let's say the ca national campaign. Uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, Maxim was there, he was the one uh, who spoke, the, uh, spoke about the whole uh, national campaign, how the launch is. Uh, PPC is going very strong. We are going in the debates. We are uh, taking reins of this political, uh, 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 the whole uh, arena of it. We are up there. Uh, there is no way that PPC is backing down because of the media not uh, giving us the full uh, uh, exposure or avoiding us because, and, and it's very clear, the, the reason, the main key point of this uh, launch was to get in the debates. And, and just my simple point, a debate is only a debate when there is a opposition. If you are making a discussion, which every other party, they believe in the same thing. Come down to the immigration policy, they say, oh yeah, we are going to increase the immigration. Yes, yes, oh you are good, oh thank you so much. You are good, I am better. That's it, it's a pure discussion. There is no debate as such. PPC is coming out with a very strong stand on immigration by saying that we want to have economic immigration. We want to have controlled immigration, immigration that is good for Canada. We are not against immigration, we are against the mass immigration. And the reason for that is the mass immigration is, is it's something like you're bringing so many uh, immigrants to Canada and they are not able to integrate here. And when they are not able to integrate, they are causing more troubles, more issues for for the residents, for the Canadians. And that is where our party stands very strong, that we want to make sure that we have the immigrants which, are, uh, which can integrate and we provide them the proper settlement plan and give them the actual Canadian values or the Western, Western values or the Western culture over here. So that's, that's the key of it. So let's come to you, Roger. You have started officially door knocking for a long time, do yes. you, did you? So what are your experiences? How difficult or how interesting it is? So uh, honestly, in the beginning, I thought being a new party, it's gonna be quite difficult. But I'm actually surprised the response I'm getting at the doors. People actually want change. They are frustrated with the current policies, okay? Uh, when we talk about immigration, and Baljeet went in very too much, you know, a lot of detail and good information, but we need to realize that immigration, having a mass immigration causes economic, you know, uh, burden on the Canada. And that economic burden, our country is not in a well-being that it can sustain that kind of economic burden. Their Fraser Institute did a study where each immigrant cost about $5,400 a year in cost. And there are some saying that's not true. But however, we have to think about it, that there is a schooling cost when this people come to Canada. There is the hospital, hospital cost. Other costs are all factored, right? So it is an economic burden. And only currently, only 24% of the immigrants, 24, 26% of the immigrants that are coming to Canada are actually adding economic value. 74% are not adding any value right now. And that is why we need to make sure that we bring economic immigrants who are adding more value to the country. It's, it's for the well-being of myself. Yes, I'm an immigrant. It's not that we are against immigration. And I get that all the time that, oh, you're an immigrant, you came to Canada, now you're shutting door no doors on others. Sorry, but that's not the case. Let's, let's be smart enough about it, right? It's trying to con have controlled immigration on it. And knocking doors in Brampton, where you think it's not gonna go well, a lot of people are sick and tired, honestly. They agree with the policy. They're like, I, I have asked many people, they, they say, what's your party platform? What are you doing for immigration? I tell them, we are gonna control the immigration and we're gonna put a limit to it. They say, you know what, we have, you have our support, put a lawn sign. And that is encouraging. Basically, our system is welfare society. Yes. We are based on, are, are very strong, which we could say that yes. one of the strongest points with Canada is this, that we have a welfare state. So that itself 
attracts a lot of people yes. and the system works when you pull on something from the system and then you put back into it. So necessarily when you are just pulling and not putting back, it is going to be disastrous. So your take on this, I would like to convey to the yeah. viewers. So it's it's on the, even uh, at the national campaign also, uh, um, our Maxim uh, Bernier, he made it very clear that instead of having 24 person, as Roger mentioned, those are the numbers, those are not my numbers, those are the actual numbers from the immigration uh, department, that there are only 24 percent of the immigrants which are economic immigrants. Rest are basically the families, the refugees and everybody else, they come on and they are not contributing towards the economy. What PPC is taking a stand here is that we want to make sure that we have at least 50 percent of economic uh, uh, immigrant, immigrants or 50 percent of the immigrants should be economic immigrants. That means now this is for temporary right now because Canada is going through a lot of uh, trouble or facing healthcare issues. We are having insurance uh, going up like anything. The affordability is the key part over here. If you really see it in last uh, uh, just this last uh, since the student stream was open, we have got over 600 and 650,000 students. They are here. We don't have housing for them. They are and, and that housing and they are all coming and concentrating into one simple, you know, cities or like Brampton or somewhere close by. And that is putting a lot of pressure on not only on housing, but on traffic. It's on the colleges, our own students, our own kids, our own, uh, you know, uh, children. They are having trouble finding jobs. They are having trouble finding uh, universities. They are traveling outside the city. So to because we never thought of having uh, or putting these things into the right structure, what Canada or what our communities can actually manage. Yeah. And when you don't have a structure, when you don't have a proper plan, when you don't have those things, these things, they cause problem. And as uh, Roger mentioned uh, rightly, that it puts a lot of economic burden. Now economic burden, when it comes down, it comes on our taxpayers. So the citizens, they end up paying more and the services are deteriorated because they are not getting. So there are more wait times in the hospital, the insurance, the car insurance, the policies are way high, the house prices, rental properties, they are not available at all because now you are trying to accommodate the that stream which was not even meant to be, uh, the cities were not re meant to be uh, accommodating them. So that's it's just where like it's just like uh, putting too much air into a balloon. Exactly. So what would you expect? Yeah. Balloon has that much space only. Yeah. So it's you will yeah. have and the consequences for yeah. that. Just to add to that, um, Brampton grew 13% last year compared to other cities which grew 4.6%. Yeah. Now we, the writing we are representing, the growth and all the facilities, right? That's where you don't get enough back from what we want our kids to be able to get or we want to get. Right, and he has mentioned healthcare is an issue, and getting other public services. Schools so are schools very big issue because are very big issue. They are the they are the nurture for your future leaders. You yes, know? yes, exactly. So if you are not able to provide them the right kind of facilities, how would yeah. you expect? Yeah, and then one so would argue that oh, this is provincial, but my st stance is it's not a provincial because when federally wrong wrong policies are made, that has a ripple effect on individuals, and we are in our writings seeing those effects. So let's talk about the media. Media is a strong point where they actually should be uh, propagating the policies which are beneficial to Canada. But so far, media does not seem to be very cooperative explaining the PPC party um, uh, policy. I should not say explain. I would say that they are not paying attention to PPC party policies. What is your take on that? You want to take it? No. <laughs> All right, I'll take the shot. I, I, it doesn't matter. I'm here on the media, but thank you, Tag TV, that giving us this uh, opportunity to express our thoughts. Uh, it's not the same as when we are talking of the national media coverage, where uh, the most of the media is biased. There are very few of them, and uh, I, I don't want to name name or label them, but we all know it. The national media is very biased. They get paid. They get you know all subsidies. They get all those things from the sitting government or from the parties, they have got big funds, they have got big pockets, they do that. Uh, but having said that, we live in a free society. We live in a society where everything is accepted and we always give a chance of, uh, you know, freedom of speech, what we call it. And now with PPC, especially with uh, Maxim Bernier, his speech is being suppressed. His being, his policies are not being uh, uh, projected out there. He's not given a chance to even s tell the truth 
whatever we are doing it we are doing it all on our own uh, own level even then consider this thing now let's say the national uh, media is not giving us uh, that coverage but ppc on the social media right now is at the top as far as it's on the mentions are concerned, we are on the highest on mentions. The policy is being talked and discussed. PPC is right on the top of it. Uh, the maximum hits that they're getting on no matter what, and right now the only two things that we are talking about where PPC is being shown as we are not in favor of it. One is the immigration that we had been just talking, and another is the climate. Whereas that's not the case. If you really read the PPC policies, which is People's Party of Can People's Party of Canada .ca, go down to that, look into the policies, and you will see. And it's not just the policy. We are not putting the policy there. We are giving the actual facts. We are giving you what the issues are, and then we are putting our policy how we are going to resolve those issues. So it's a clear cut, straightforward. Uh, common man, common language that's understandable to common people. So what? PPC is coming out is a common uh, language for everyone. That's what the media is afraid of because now when they see somebody is talking of truth and if people come to know the truth, what the other parties or the existing old parties are going to say and because all, all they have delivered so far, no policies but just promises and when you say promises, you are only buying votes whether with the current government that they are giving subsidies, they are writing off the loans, they are going through all these uh, political scandals like SNC and so on, what exactly that is? It's, it's purely buying votes and paying the media. $600 million, that's being set aside for next couple of years to pay, uh, to pay for CBC because CBC is not performing. Why media, why a private media should be paid by the government to be bailed out because they are not doing well? Aren't we doing well? On the other local medias, those are the small houses, they are doing well. So it's, it's all, I can, uh, so far I still consider that the national media is quite biased and they are not showing the right policies, but people are, these voices, the truth can never be hidden. It's coming out, it's coming out really strong, it's coming out and people like you, people like TAG Media or TAG TV is giving the chance to, uh, to say our word and put our policies, put our actual thoughts out there. Thank you so much for that one. So media and not paying attention towards PPC policies. Your take, Roger. Well, Baljeet went in detail, but all I want to say is that we as uh, voters need to do our due diligence, right? It's, yes, media is saying one thing. We, it's media wants to highlight what it wants to, and as Baljeet says, the $600 million being given, right? Yes, we, we have those favorable circumstances, however, each individual who has a voting right needs to do their due diligence to make sure that when they're looking up their candidate, see who their candidate is, what do they stand for, what contribution they have in a society, what's the motive behind, and that's the biggest one, I think, what is the motive behind them running for the election, okay? Someone, for example, like us, we're here. Why are we doing this? Because we care for the country. We got, I got young family. I'm an accountant by profession. but. I want to make sure that whoever is running and coming up, they know that, you know what, there's somebody who cares for the country. So when people start looking up, like for example, we are here on TAC TV today talking about policies and then other media small outlets, look at our websites, uh, come talk to us, give me a call, um, available most of the time, right? So get to know your candidate and make the right choice. Don't just go based on media. We all know media is biased and even the people who believe that, you know, PPC is not the, they, that's what they believe that it's not the right thing. They know media is just projecting it the, the way they want to show it. Uh, however, meeting Maxime Bernier, I've met Andrew Scheer, I was a president for a Canadian Christian Association. So I had the liberty to meet him. He was at my basketball event as well, okay. I really like our leader, Maxime Bernier. He has a personality, he character, and he knows what he's talking about. And he actually truly cares for the country. You really think he's just in for having fun that he started his own party and now he's putting all this time, effort, and money into this? No, there is a need and he's standing up for that need. And that's what we all need to realize. And what everybody needs to do is make sure, you know, it's. Here, somebody said it very nicely. It's people 
who are wor working again well with conservatives are actually not working with conservative they're actually working against liberals so it is they're, what they're trying to do is trying to f you know uh, favor the lesser of the two evils yeah. what they need to do is realize the policy get behind the right policies and the platform and then go with that leader thank you very much for being with us today and sharing your views but any final message you want to convey through us to our audience you're more than welcome to do so one after another so i'll just uh, keep it short uh once again you know roger samson candidate for brampton west and just you know get to know me uh anyone living in the writing ask me any questions i'm open if i don't have the answers i will make sure i get the answers to you okay well, you can visit my website, it's rogersamson.com, or you can call me at 416-736-0636, and I'll be more than happy to answer any calls or answer any questions. Because at the end of the day, it's our duty to make sure that we work and keep the Canada safe. God bless Canada. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, this is Baljeet Bawa. As you have heard my name, uh, I'm from Brampton Center. Again, uh, running for uh, the, your member of parliament uh, from People's Party of Canada. I've uh, opened up my office also in case if you want to drop by and uh, do some uh, chat with me uh, to want to learn what the policies are, what we are, what I stand for, and I still stand for the same as I stood before as a liberal. Also, I still drive a car with a license plate liberal. How more liberal you could be? But right now, it's about the values, the liberal values, where we say, you know what, that, uh, and it, it's, it's simple, that I believe in real fairness, and I believe that the same rules should be applied, and the same standards across the board. Now, this used to be the liberal values, and I still believe in that, which is not the case right now with other parties. So when I say you vote, you vote for your values. You don't vote for the fear. Don't go just liberals and conservatives and what their promises are. Try to see what the candidate is, what they have done for you, whether it's Brampton Center or anywhere else. It's, it's your voice. Your vote is very valuable. You can contact me anytime. It's at uh, Baljeet Bawa uh, at 416-728-4142. Or you can drop by to my office at 25 King Cross in Brampton. It's right east of Bramley City Center, very accessible all the time give me a call drop by to the office or you can go to the website www.electbawa.ca and all the policies everything is right there looking forward for your support looking forward for your uh, your vote so it's your vote your brampton and your candidate baljeet bawa thank you i thank you both for sharing your views today we are Canadian, proud Canadians, and we are very proud of our very beautiful system, which is giving us full opportunities and full protection. We should see what is best for Canada, Canadians first, Canada first. That is, that should be our motto. With these words, thank you very much for watching Behind the News. We will bring you more news. We will bring you more information. Stay tuned. <laughs>